academic writing doesn't come easy to all of us. But once you have mastered it, you can really see your grades increase. And we all want that. So in today's video, I'm going to give you 10 essential rules for your academic writing. Follow these rules and I'm confident your quality of work will increase and your grades. Rule number one is don't use contractions. Use the full word. You should use do not instead of don't, cannot instead of can't, etc. Tip number two, numbers under 10 and even under 100. And numbers that are used at the start of a sentence should always be written in full. I.e. don't write the number, like one zero, but spell the number, like T-E-M. Tip number three. If you are going to use acronyms or abbreviations, the first time you use them, they should be explained in full. I.e. write out the full term and then put the acronym in brackets. After that, you can use the acronym because everyone will know what you're talking about. Tip number four. Avoid colloquial speech and cliches. So things like, that reaction was over the top, or there was some light at the end of the tunnel. These are phrases and colloquial sayings that do not sit well with academic writing. Number five, keep your academic writing impersonal. Nobody should know what you think. Academic writing isn't usually about you. You need to give your judgments based on an objective evidence. Use citations, use research, then make a judgment. Don't give your opinion. Number six, academic writing is cautious. Absolutely avoid assertions which cannot be proved. So don't say something like, women are bad drivers. That might be your personal opinion, but that cannot be proved. We cannot say all women are bad drivers. What you could say instead is many people consider women to be bad drivers or some women are bad drivers. Number seven, you should generally be writing your work in the third person. Academic work shouldn't be written in the first person. So you don't use I, we, me, us, mine, ours. That's personal. Remember I told you to keep your personal opinions and views out of it. It shouldn't be written in the second person either. So don't use you, your, yours. It should be written in the third person. So that's terms such as he or she, his or her, they, them, their. Number eight, make sure you provide objective evidence. Don't just write about what you know. I know it can be tough. You might think you know it all. You might actually know it all, but that's not really acceptable in academic work. What you know, you need to search and find published credible evidence. So for example, let's say I have been on holiday to Ibiza every single year of my life. I know the island inside out. I can't just write an article all about Ibiza and what I know from my experience. I need to evidence what I know through work that has been published. So that might be books, journal articles, reports, credible websites, and, and do make sure websites that you use are credible. And I've got a video about that, so I'll put that at the end. But I can't just say what I know. I know it's frustrating, I know it's annoying, but that's how it is. Number nine. Use a passive voice. As far as possible, academic work should be written in the passive voice. Active means the subject of the sentence is doing something, whereas passive means the subject of the sentence is allowing something to be done to it. For example, the man read the book. The book was read by the man. Smith did research. The research was conducted by Smith. I found plenty of evidence to support this view, or better would be plenty of evidence was found to support this view. And tip number 10 to make your academic writing really great is to make sure that everything is evidenced. Every time you make a statement, back it up with evidence and then comment on that evidence. For example, Downton Airport has grown enormously over recent years. 
is more than doubled in size. Or Bloggs 2006 states that Dalton covered 14 acres in 1990, but it has grown to 30 acres by 2005. Froome 2005 shows that the average daily passenger throughout has tripled in much the same time. The Dalton Airport website suggests profits are rapidly increasing too. However, this is not necessarily good news for people who live nearby. So you can see that is a, a, a short paragraph that has lots of evidence with references and it has some comments. And actually, this is part of the academic writing sandwich. And I have a video on that right here.